heard he's got some like sun on his butt or something like that. Hey, not gonna lie, bro. I've been trying to take a, a look at that. Like, I watched that video. Like, oh, we live. Looney news. <laughs> Welcome to Looney News. You're joining me today. I am your host, Bob Churning. We have a great new show for you today. We are going to um, delve deep, as they say, in the spiritual, in the spiritual realms. We're going to do some shadow work. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, let me home. <laughs> You're gonna trigger me or something? So today. Okay. <clears throat> Shadow work, hey? All right. So today on the news, what we have going in the cosmos, in the realms, in the light language activations? Oh, I see. Today is actually the summer solstice. This is the longest day of the year. It's still 24 hours in the day, though. But the sun is like. The sun is out the longest today. Did you know that? Or are you just too busy being ignorant? These people, what would they learn? And following that, we have a full moon in Capricorn on the 26th. According to Sky Astrology, it's actually in Sagittarius. So it's not in Capricorn anymore? No. What is it then? <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. I swear to God, like. Does astrology even matter? <laughs> so yes, Capricorn, full moon. I think. Looney news. And, and last but not least, on the news schedule today. Men who have sex have a higher chance of believing in God. And the higher power. Yeah, no, this is actually true. You know, when oxytocin is released in men, that are. Uh... Do you believe in God? No, nah, I don't believe in God. So, yeah, so men who have sex have a higher chance of believing in God. Oxytocin. Why don't you believe in God then? <laughs> we have a special guest on today. He goes with the name Shiv Loon. And Shiv Loon is here to talk about his latest album release, his major success in his party portal, his album release party, and his upcoming release with Ganesha. So, everybody, without further ado. <laughs> clap in Shivlin! Woo! Yeah, let's go! Woo! Oh my god, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got it. Woo! Just open the Yeah, yeah. Open the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 come in, come in. The seat on the left. Yeah, uh, we're on a time schedule, you know. Gee, what? Sit down, man. Looney news. It's good to see you, man. Really good. Um. So how's the music thing going? Yeah, I've been good. <laughs> I'm good, man. You know, um, so how you feeling? Yeah, beautiful question. So, you know, I'm, I'm basically famous. So I checked. I've got seventy-four monthly listeners.
So how's the music team going? So, yeah, Shiva's Cosmic Beats. It's a whole 13 track album that I did with Cosmic Beats. Um, he is over there in Zimbabwe, in Africa. He, um, he's amazing. And we did this album together and um, it's consecrated with miracles. This is how I created it. Miracles? Yeah. So are you saying it can heal us? Yeah, exactly that. And I am, um, I'm very happy that it was received so well. Can we play a snippet? Yeah, further ado. Palladian temples, yeah, it's nothing new. Yeah, yeah. And I see the colors of all in my room. Crystalline light, love it as you're shining through. Palladian temples, it's nothing new. Nothing new. I'll make it crystal clear, it's really in dear. That's some good stuff, man. That's some, that's some good stuff, man. That's some good stuff. Thank you. So, so Thank you. What, what are you doing now? So after Shiva's Cosmic Beats, I've produced mm. songs over, over the past year that I haven't released. And I decided to wow. draw Ganesha. And um, I'm going to release another short album called Ganesha's Celestial Beats. Another? And... Can we buy a snippet? Yeah! Let's go. So, so I've, been, I've been meaning to like that. Because I don't know. Shiv, Shiv Loon. What, what does that even mean? So, Shiv Loon is Shiva and then Loon, which is like the moon. So it's like the oh, masculine yeah. principle and the feminine principle. Uh, but I learned the other day, you know, that the masculine and the feminine principle are both in the sun and moon. Because I learned this trippy fact, right? As a human, we embody the masculine and feminine energy within ourselves, which means everything we perceive, therefore, must exude the presence of masculine and, and feminine at the same time. So, looking at the moon is actually masculine and feminine at the same time because I'm perceiving it through the vessel of a masculine and feminine embodiment. Same with looking at the sun. So, even though Shiva and Luna you know, it means sacred union because I embody Shiva and my wife. She, uh, she's like Luna, illuminating. Like, you're married? Well, not yet. Yeah. That's enough for today. You 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 kind of triggering me a bit. So um, I think I think you, you you gotta go now. What do you think? Okay. Uh, thank you, thank you for letting me on the show. I'd love to come on again. Um, since you're the only you know people that have called me on. For a, for anything, I should bloom. You know. So thank you, everybody. Um, should I just leave? How does this work? Just leave. Thank you. Thank you. Even though he's a nice guy, he's a nice guy. Uh, even though he, he's like triggered me a little bit with like that whole like 
that the moon is masculine thing. Um, he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. Yeah. Um. Looney news. So, before we tune out of Looney News, we are going to give you a quick weather update to my special weather guy, Gallagher. On to you. Bob, I'm literally just outside. Bob, I am literally just around the corner. Just look outside. All right, that's enough. Looney news. Thank you everybody for tuning in. This has been um I think I'm gonna reevaluate my whole entire life now. Until next time, back to Looney News. We will come back and and um yeah, there you go.